In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the Tor browser to get maximum privacy and security. Let's get right into this. So our Tor browser is connected there and we want to go into the settings page. And the first thing we want to do is make sure our browser is up to date. So scroll down to Tor browser updates and check for updates. So using the latest version of Tor means your browser is up to date and you have bug fixes and patches applied to your browser. The next thing we want to do is make sure we are using private browsing mode. So head over to privacy and security and scroll down to history. You want to make sure this is checked and this will keep your browsing in private mode, just like you are using incognito in Chrome. So you have more settings here and you can choose a stricter setting here to never remember history but we can just leave it like this. So if you want to go um, choose the setting, once you close your browser, all your history will be deleted. But this custom setting acts like you're using a private browsing window. So the next thing we want to do is make sure we don't allow malicious files on our device from the internet. So scroll down to deceptive content and dangerous software protection and want to block deceptive content. We also want to block dangerous downloads and this will protect us from malicious files and malicious content on a website. The next thing we want to do is make sure we are using HTTPS only. So make sure this is checked and this will allow your browser to upgrade all your connections to HTTPS. So this is an integrity thing and this um, encrypts any data you send between yourself and a server so make sure this is enabled the next thing you want to do is a general rule of thumb you want to make sure you don't use your tor browser in full screen so you can maximize or minimize this just make sure you don't use this browser in full screen so if you use this browser in full screen um, some websites can collect information tr some tracking information about your device or your window and they might be able to know what type of device you use so yeah um let's do some browsing so i'm going to go to a new tab here and i'm just going to go to check.torproject.org so my browser is configured to use tor you might want to check this every time you open your tor browser just to make sure you are configured so if you go over to this tor circuit icon you can see the route your Tor browser takes. So it takes three hops before connecting you to the website. And this just makes sure you are configured and you are using Tor. So you can um, create a new circuit here. And this just changes the nodes and your route. So this is one way to change the route you take to access your site. But if you want to completely change your identity, you can click this icon here. Or come over to the menu here and select new identity so this will change everything here this will change the first node the second and the third node this would restart your browser also but this gives you a completely new identity so we're going to be checking one more settings and we'll be using a site to analyze these settings so the setting we'll be checking is the security level settings and these are just different security levels to maintain your security and anonymity. So standard is um, the one we, we are using right now. We have the safer option, which disables websites, features, dangerous content. And we have the safest option, which disables lots of things. So um, you might want to use between standard and safer. The safest would, might not let you browse some sites properly except you really want strict options then you can go for the safest so let's analyze this i'm going to be using this site cover your tracks and let's allow this to load so this is a simulation that tests how well your browser is protected from fingerprinting so um, let's test this.
and the more information someone can gather about your browser and your device, the more they can uncover your identity. So you want to make sure that websites and trackers are not gathering information about you. They are gathering very little information about your browser and device. So let's allow this to finish. And here we can see that we have partial protection from um, ad tracking and we are blocking invisible trackers and we have partial protection from fingerprinting. So bits is used to measure the amount of information in information theory. And the higher this is, the more your identity can be reviewed. So you want to make sure you're aiming for a lower number. So let's see if we can aim for a lower number. So I'm going to set this to safest and I'm going to try this again. So let's test our browser. And now you can see we are blocking tracking ads. We are blocking invisible trackers and we are protecting ourselves from fingerprinting. So let's check the bits. So we've reduced the bits almost by 50%. And we are very unique. So this 84.83 browsers has the same fingerprints as yours. This is a very low number. If you try this out in your regular browser, like your regular Chrome or Firefox setup, this number is going to be in the hundreds of thousands. So this is a good thing. So this... You can play around with these options here and see how much information you are leaking. So um, let's scroll down and see some of these things here. And one thing that can really leak your information is time zone. So trackers can collect your time zone and know your location. So um, we have this disabled and we are not leaking our location. And yeah, so that's how you set up your Tor browser for maximum privacy and security. So just to recap, make sure you're up to date, make sure you use private browsing mode, make sure you block dangerous downloads, make sure you use HTTPS only, don't use your browser in full screen, and you can play around with these security level settings here, depending on, one, on what you want to do. If you want to change your identity, you can create a new circuit or create a completely new identity here. So that will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want a different solution for privacy and security, you can check out Hailbyte SOX5 Proxy or Hailbyte VPN and Firewall on AWS. So this can be a suitable solution for yourself or your organization. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye.